Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix this error right here. Now, the reason for today's video is because I've gotten countless comments in the past on my JavaScript videos, people asking me, Dom, I'm getting this error, how do I fix it, it's frustrating, etc. So, I'm going to be answering this question right now. But of course, the error in question says blah 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 from origin null has been blocked by the CORS policy. So, if you are getting this error, this video should help you out, hopefully. Now, I'm going to be showing you the code which causes this error, then of course, the very simple fix. Now, this website or application is supposed to be showing me the current weather information. So, of course, inside this paragraph tag right here, it's supposed to be some weather data. So, this weather data comes from this weather.json file, um, which I'm trying to fetch or retrieve using Ajax. So, of course, I'm making the Ajax request to the JSON file. Then, of course, I'm simply populating the data inside this paragraph tag. Now, let's see the actual code for this web page. So, inside the text editor, the code looks like this. As we can see, first off, I'm including jQuery. The reason for using jQuery is so I can use the Ajax function right down here. This error only occurs uh, when using Ajax, you know. Um, the fetch API gives you a slightly different but similar error. So, of course, you know, generally, I recommend you use fetch. If you haven't used fetch before, I've got plenty of videos on fetch if you want to check those out. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, we're using Ajax. So, of course, I'm making an Ajax request to this weather.json file. This JSON file looks like this. Temperature and description. So now, once the response comes back, I'm simply saying, you know, paragraph tag dot text content is equal to, of course, you know, this string which tells me the weather information. So, what is causing this error? Well, the code itself is fine. The issue is not with your code. The issue is with how you are showing your HTML. Going back in the browser, as we can see right here, I'm using the file protocol. I'm loading up or I'm opening the HTML using, you know, control O. I'm doing this, control O, and I'm opening it up. So, this right here is what is causing your error. You are getting the files directly from your system's hard drive. Now, to fix this, you need a web server. Okay, now, on the web, you know, around the globe, all of the websites use a web server, which is why this error typically won't occur in an actual website and only in development environments while you are coding by yourself, you know, locally. So, how do you get a web server? Well, you've got two options. Well, multiple options, but basically right now, I'm going to be showing you two options. The first one is going to be using Visual Studio Code. And this one right here is going to be my recommended option. So, using Visual Studio Code, okay, if you go to the extensions menu right up here, do a search for Live Server. If you open this up, this extension right here, and you install this extension, you can now create a development server really easily. So, once it's done and installed, you can then simply just press F1 to open up this uh, menu, then type in Live Server, open with Live Server. You press Enter, and now it's going to host a local development server, giving you the files which you are working on. So, we can see right here, got the index HTML, and of course, it's working, right? The URL is going to be, you know, 127, 001 on port 5, 500, whatever it might be, right? So, this is your web server, and we can see the error is no longer occurring. So, of course, now you've got a web server between your file. Before, it was your file on your hard drive, then directly to the browser. Now, it's going from file, web server, and then to the browser. So, that middle layer, the web server, is what's going to fix your issue. Now, the second option looks like this, using XAMPP. So, 
This right here, XAMPP or XAMPP, however you pronounce it, is a free, local and easy to use web server, which also gives you PHP. Now, if you download this, you install it, you can then basically just include all of your website's files inside a directory called htdocs. Okay, so once you've done that, basically you, you do the exact same thing, you know, you go to your local host or whatever it might be, and then you can go forward slash and you can access your information. So that is your second option. Of course, there are many more options out there, different web servers, things like that. But of course, if you want to get started, definitely try and use VS Code. It is probably the simplest option. Now, if you want, you know, more information on the CORS policy, I've got a whole video dedicated to that, which I'll leave a link to below and also in the top right of this video. But there you go. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.